Welcome everybody to another episode of Willet Coffee. On today's episode, Willet HP 56 Death Strain Coffee. Alright, water's in, filter's in, let's get to it. Get the water here from the carafe and toss it in the machine. That'd be nice. Put it in as such. Then let's get our coffee. We've got a nice big new container of coffee here. Let's get a couple of spoonfuls in there. Nice spoonfuls. Put that off to the side and cover it. Now the main attraction. These are the HP 56 Death Strain Chilies, an Ed Curry creation, the cousin really of the Carolina Reaper. Came out in about 2013 or so, I want to say, at least that's when I first heard about it. And uh, Ted Barris, the fire breathing idiot, was one of the uh, first people to review it. And spoiler alert, it basically nuked him. Uh, there were some articles in 2015 that were basically anointing this as the next world's hottest pepper, although it's not yet been officially officially gotten the record. That still is the Carolina Reaper. Uh, you can see though that even on little brother here, uh, I'm not sure if the camera can really pick it up, but there is a stinger at the bottom. It is much more obvious on big brother right down there. So what I'm going to do to ensure that we're going to get as much death strain chili experience in my coffee as possible, we're going to take Little Brother. Oh man, that is a lot of oil. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh schnizies. That is what Little Brother has inside. But I'm going to, oh man, it is coated with oil. It's very, very oily. Probably one of the oiliest peppers I've come across in a long, long time. But I'm going to take the carafe and we're going to toss it in the carafe today. Little brother goes into the carafe. Big brother. And you get to see the inside of Big Brother. It is also deathly and very, very oily. Oh my god. Oh my. So as of course me being the stupid one, I don't have gloves. So I'm going to try to chop this guy up. as much as I can, really with one hand, to ensure that every last bit of that pepper gets in here. It is, it is really deathly, folks. I am not going to lie to you. It's very, very deathly. Now let's gather all of this up. Look at all of that. And there it is, right in there. Toss. Actually, we're just going to slide it in. Trying to keep it as much off my hands as possible. Some more on the blade. Take it off the blade, too. One final look in there. Science, it must happen.
I'm telling you, that thing is hot. Just add a little bit of a spoonful, the remnants of some of the peppers and the oils that were on here. It's the the pain can be described as penetrating, piercing, and just downright hot. Touch my lips. Anywhere it touches, it stings. The chilies are in there somewhere. Let's get ourselves a mug. Because in the chaos, in the chaos of it all, of course you forget one of the more important parts. Won't need too much, trust me. Oh my god. Oh. Any Whatever fumes were from that chili have now gone to the coffee. For science, right folks? For science? Come on. Here we go. Whoa! That is a nice, pleasing burn for me. A little unexpected, frankly, still, that it got through and all that oil is now seriously in that coffee. Seriously there, holy cow, this is, this is borderline pleasurable to just downright stupid and crazy. It's the throat. That was really cool. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's gonna hit your throat no matter what. No matter what, it's gonna hit your throat. Let's see what it did to the grounds, huh? Those are the world's spiciest coffee grounds. My nose is running. Wow. If you want to ensure that no one steals or uses your coffee maker without your permission ever again, maybe you should consider doing this as a very cruel prank. These peppers average 2.89 million Scoville. That certainly feels every bit of that 2.89 million. So would you try some HP 56 Death Strain Coffee for science? Let me know down in the comments. That's all everybody for this episode of Wallet Coffee. Embrace that pain, and I'll see you in the next video.